at this time, I believe it's Commissioner Allen. Uh, I'm going to ask Commissioner Allen to lead us in a prayer and then we'll remain standing for the pledge. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you again for another day. Father, we ask for your help in controlling this, uh, this virus that is going around and all uh, the people of the United States. We need your help in so many ways to get this done. Find a cure for this stuff. Help the scientists and doctors find a cure for it. We appreciate everything you do for us, and we ask you to help us with this in more than one way and everything. Father, I thought we thank you for these leaders that have come together today. We ask that you lead and guide us in our lives and making great decisions for the people of Limestone County. Father, I ask that you bless the ladies and men in this court today, and above all, bless all our children in the world. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, ladies, to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. Liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas. One state, under God, one in the I'd like to welcome everybody uh, to the court today. Uh, you can see some comments. <coughs> Next item is our consent agenda. I have, hope that you have a chance to go through the consent agenda and package. At this time, I'll uh, yeah. entertain a motion. Uh -huh. I have a motion to approve the consent agenda and a second. Any other discussion? If not, I'm going to play with that. Uh -huh. All right, we move over to our regular business. Uh, this is the first item is discussion about action on. Our county burn man, I think we're going to get the gold in, so we're going to pass that item up. That's what it is to be alone. I know what we're on the JDI is 385, and our threshold is 575. And, you know, if it, you know, if, it, if we get into a stretch, you know, a long, hot stretch, it won't take long to get it. Yeah. I know we're going to get Okay, let's keep going in on item number eight is going to be discussed. Discussion and our acceptance of retirement of Sheriff Officer K9 Jack. Um, in your packet, uh, I think y'all have a copy of the letter from the uh, sheriff. Whereas uh, the, the K9 Jack, the uh, uh, service dog there for the sheriff's department, uh, is being retired. And so, uh, uh, if, if Marty, you need any kind of a are we giving him a take uh, watch or anything? Uh, <laughs> uh, huh? Golden bowl. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I know uh, uh, that that's a uh, emotional time for the folks out the sheriff's department. I know he's like family, and if I understand correctly, the officer uh, uh, is going to take over the well being of him. Uh, and so, uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk to y'all about is that uh, Natasha gave me a list of the um, donations to that fund. And, uh, um, Chief Deputy Murray has mentioned that they're probably going to be trying to get another one. So we'll leave those donations as they are for now. I think it's going to be great. Uh, and have them for uh, the new dog when we get it. That being said, uh, does anyone want to accept this retirement of the canine dog, Jack? So moved. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Yeah. Those are our next item. That's going to be discussed and take action on the post tax abatement application to cover the wind of LLC. I believe we have some folks here today. Uh, with, uh, that company, if someone want to speak to us this morning, uh, anything that y'all want to talk about? I know that y'all want to talk about. Uh, Later, you want to talk to about the road agreement uh, and make sure that that's in line. Um, For those who are just here to answer questions and 
Okay, why don't you do me a favor, uh, if you don't mind, um, introduce yourself. So, who, what's your I'm name? Trey Hare. I'm with Land Services. I'm a land. Okay. I'm Brittany Bruce. I'm with the Community Development Group. And Melissa Bernie, I'm Project Manager for Development. Okay. Well, if you live in Armstrong County, you've noticed a bunch of these things popping up here over the last month, I'd say. Maybe you'll buy a few. Yeah. And so, uh, Y'all are more of the, what you're calling the Hubbard project. It's going to be in the northern part of Limestone County, and about 60% of your project is going to be in Limestone County. Approximately how many wind turbines are y'all expecting to put in Limestone County? I have to look up that number. The total wind farm is 108. 108? Well, I can tell you then it's going to be around 61 or 2 million because uh, I was told we are in about 60%. So. Um, there'll be another 60 something uh, turbines in Limestone County. Uh, I know that we had talked about 60% of the amount of monies that we're getting from uh, the Prairie Hill project. And uh, that's, a, that's a, a number that I, I think y'all were presented with last meeting. Uh, I guess at some point in time, we, we need to get with our attorneys uh, and make sure that. The I's are dotted, these are crossed as we need to if we decide to get the bait. And uh, I guess I'd, I'd be interested to hear from the commissioners on what your thoughts are on that bait uh, or the project. Even. Have Would it be our intention to do the pipe and the test? Yes. That, that's what they're asking for. Yeah. And I, I, I think we would certainly be inclined to do that. Yeah, there's a, at, some, at one point in time, we're going to do probably about nine years at least of a at least eight hundred fifty thousand dollars that about we'll be getting uh, each year off these turbines. And what's the life expectancy of these turbines? Thirty years. Thirty years. Based on the contract. Okay, so uh, do y'all have any of them up that are past that time? You have any of them that are in their eleventh year, twelfth year? Yes, sir. We, we do. I come from the operations side originally. I'm fairly new to development, so my prior role, um, I managed the team that repaired the wind turbines. So we do have some that are beyond that age, not beyond thirty. But over the, the reason I ask that is, you know, if we're going to have uh, around ninety of them at a prairie yield, and sixty. That's one hundred fifty turbines we're going to have to account. After 10 years, the money drives up and no longer, you know, we don't want y'all. My concern would be if you walk away and say, they're worthless, we're not going to get, you know, we don't want them anymore. And I don't think that's even a concern. Y'all tell me if it is a concern. It should not. We have a contractual obligation to the customer that we're driving power to. So it's not like one of those things that stops. So at the end of 10 years, it could really turn into a, a real good line for us, maybe. Because then, then we're going to be uh, appraising the value of the appraised value after 10 years. And I don't think it's going to go down all the way down to nothing as far as the appraised value. It's still valuable. So they are 30 year assets. Mm -hmm. And we do run them for the life of the contract. The contracts that we go after are typically longer term contracts. So they usually extend between 20 and 30 years um, for the product purchase agreements for those okay. types of contracts. And once the contracts are ending, if we can't find another purchaser, then we will take them down to the end of the That's the okay. intent. So there is a decommissioning process for that. And so that's all they can do yeah. the power agreement. How often do y'all rebuild them? <clears throat> so in years or what? A rebuild? Um, so that depends. We may replace components of the turbine. Um, there has not been an instance where we take them down and just rebuild them back up. So it's usually not a full rebuild, but we have repowered re turbines. So we've taken the blades off and replaced them with new blades or a new drivetrain. But there hasn't been a full take them down and put them back up project. Most of them are going to last 30 years without doing a whole lot of time. There is operation and maintenance, just as you would take care of the drivetrain in your car or tractor, you would take care of the drivetrain of the turbine. It's very similar in regards to components. So. <coughs> um, I think that unless, um, unless someone wants to say something, I think this commission is ready to 
go forward with this action by um, we just need to get with our attorney at auction. Uh, and y'all agreed to pay up to the ten thousand dollars and they don't charge that much right they did last time. So uh that cost our county any money to uh, hire this attorney. So uh, I think we're ready to move forward. Um uh, unless I hear something different from the uh, commissioner. This is going to be a good deal for the school, uh, quickly school, and I think the school is possible. You know, so I think we need to move forward with this myself. Would you like for me to contact the Bass folks in and Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to a motion, I'll do it. So, so, we do have a motion and a second to move forward on this tax abatement. Uh, any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? And we will talk after the meeting as far as the road agreements uh, that y'all want to talk about. Okay, thank you so much for coming. I answer any questions. Okay, let's keep, continue going then. Item number 10 is going to be a uh, request presentation from Mr. Pitts. Little come on up, you got the floor, sir. Y'all will have to excuse me for my voice to change it. I'm either getting older or younger and I haven't figured out what. Mm -hmm. So I'll do it. Appreciate the court listening to me. I'll stop. I'll listen to more of this. What it is, what we have here uh, is the request for an application to uh, for repair structural repair work on site 16A. This is a flexible structure that is located uh, outside of the village. Uh, you know, what's the during a plot uh, inspection by someone engineering outfit at the NRCS state office? Found that the front toe slope on site 16A had melted down due to wave action uh, action on the work. It does face north, but the work by does uh, face the north. So therefore, it catches a whole lot. So bring the structure. The structure is over 50 years of age. And uh, it is <clears throat> the proposal is a, a proposal application to repair that, and then doing that would be in fact uh, replacing the front toe slope. Uh, the landowner has agreed to accept a, a pit to be dug outside of the structure easement area uh, to provide the soil to replace the soil and has melted down into the water supply as a water lake. Uh, that was a kind of a, a discussion with them is that it would give him water outside of, uh, in a pasture that he has no water in. So it would work to his advantage also Increase the, the uh, life of this structure, which really doesn't have much more than the front slope has melted down to the uh, angle in which wave action is getting into the front slope of the dam embankment itself. Then they would replace it with rock or riffraff. It would be riffraff on top of it, this type to protect the, the surface. So there's, there's only really the information is in front of you of what is proposed. Is through this application through NRCS that they would provide the engineering information. Uh, the, this is my first, okay? So I do not know each and every one of the loopholes in and out. But one thing with the application. Comes uh, if when they set it up, then 
the acceptance then until then would be non-binding in the, the, the application itself. If you have questions, quite a few of these things are happened in Hill County, in Tabera County, and in McLean County. It, it, we've been fortunate up to now not having to do this. There is a, a formula that is it, it is developed. I'm not sure that that was in the notes, but I, it was in the instructions of, of uh, what happened. And I thought each of you got a copy of the instructions. They, they didn't get a copy. Okay. In, in the instructions, I'll read it. There's, there's a, a, well, and I don't have it in this set of instructions. There's something to the effect that the dollar amounts, what it takes to, that's estimated for uh, repair, structural repair, is a certain amount. All of the money would be obligated by NRCS. Then would there be 5% left over of that. In other words, 95% would be funded by NRCS. Then out of the five percent, there would be another roughly four percent of it is paid by state. Uh, this would be the state conservation funds provides dollars to offset the structural repair work. So then, when it comes down to the county, it's somewhere between one and a half and four percent of the actual amount. So if if it uh, people with the knowledge faster than mine, then they're it. Is it, it on, on a, a, in this one is a $295,000 acre uh, dollar job, then the only thing with the, the county would be obligated would be something in the neighborhood of probably more see overall cash, which would be budget finance that comes to the Soil and Water Conservation District for O and M work. So this is just the application. This is not any more than uh, requesting acceptance by the court that they would uh, enter into knowing what the actual financial stuff is. There would be no contractual to any of it until they got signature, but this is the uh, proposal application. That would be one of the items that I would request. And because the court is familiar with the bidding program of uh, uh, bidding <coughs> both worlds, and that would be that would be the second request to the to the court. Other than that, uh, I've tried to lay out as simple as I can. I know there are at least two people on this court that are familiar with what these flood control structures uh, had in the past. And then each of you pretty well aware of what the OM obligation to be going on, as we will be working on diligently after. July the first uh, inspection. Our inspection will be then. So sometime in July, I would like to get over court and explain what we found on these twenty-two structures that uh, for O and M work. So just to give you an idea of where we stand for it. Hopefully, we've got at least one, if not two, jobs for road and bridge that. Uh, has uh, agreed to get to them as soon as he can get to them. We will do some head time type work, which is also part of this obligation stuff that we're talking about on the, the structural repair work. With our head time work and uh, obligated work. And obligated work is not to put a contract to sign. 
that's the two things uh, my request are is I would like to see that uh, Todd Monk, chairman of the Southern Water Conservation District, has agreed, has made a signature on the form, and uh, the nine requesting for consideration by the court. Area we had around fifteen thousand 
and we spent that fifteen thousand. Yes. And so I'm not sure that this is going to fall into this year or next year. Probably next year. Probably the year after. The year after. The year after we do not. So what we might want to do is, is take that, uh, and then we don't know what you're going to bring to us with the other inspections. Other than the old M work. No, exactly. You do not. So uh, why don't you? Uh, why don't we wait uh, and just get some kind of a game plan that we can plug in for next year? Would you help me with that, sir? Yes. Sir. I would appreciate that because I do not know, and maybe by that time you would be able to speak with one or the other. Well, if, if, if you know, you're talking about four forty-five hundred dollars just on this project, one point seven five percent, and so that's that, that's not hard to do. We just need to make sure we have it in there. So when the time comes, we yeah, have to say it would not be done in front of the budget. Yes, that, that would be the thing I would say. Okay, yeah, that, that would be my my thoughts to it. What, what you're wanting from us now is to endorse the project, but we're not committing to any money at this point. Absolutely. I so we have a motion and a second on the table. Uh, Thank you, Gary. Is there any other discussion on this item? If not, I'll say aye. Uh, uh, any opposed? We really appreciate you. We had an inspection by the DECQ consultant engineer on site seven, which at one time had been claimed as a high hazard dam. And then it was declassified back to a low hazard dam. And if this, these engineers come back and under CEQ uh, require it back to high hazard uh, classification, this will then entail a emergency action plan. That and it would have to be involved in that flood control structure. So. Uh, these are ongoing items that don't want to really well on. I just tell the court that these are things that are being uh, discussed yes. and, they're, and they just making you aware that TECQ is inventorying some of these flood control structures throughout the state. And you'll we'll get a report, and I will bring the report back to the court. I'm sorry, but that's the, that was it. Fast and done. Yeah. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, let's move along then. We're going to talk about item number 10. It's going to be discuss and or take action on operations and maintenance fees. I'm sorry, number 11 is discuss and or take action on utility lines and agreements. Um, this is from the city of Cossey. Jerry, why don't you bring us up to date on this? Yeah, they want to run a borderline down. Ditch on uh, 706 and cross the road to that water to several more people. You did tell them that they had more of the road. Mm -hmm. so they got in here cut or more. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. John, I, I'm sure you've been involved in this. Right. I'll, I'll make a motion going to do that. Thank you. Drill, drill, drill a bit of water well out there. But. Yeah, they've done, they've done this just adds on to what they've already done. You know, they right. put the water well and they run water all the way back to town. Okay, on well, item number number seven. Seven. Room by the highway. On item number 11, and that, and that is discussion and take action until the line agreement, we have a motion by Commissioner McCarver, second by Commissioner Baker. Is there any other discussion on the That That motion would be for it to be bored. Right. Okay. okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right. Let's move on now to discussion and, take, uh, and approve annual bids for FY 2021. I know in your package you had a chance to look at these bids. Uh, we can go over them individually if you like. Uh, the first one that I have is the uh, janitorial supplies. I think each year it's been the policy that the commission court has set both of these to probably use it. To, um, so I'm, I'll leave that one in our discussion on that. Uh, on pest control, we have one bid for my head pest control. Um, 
and uh, no other bids on that one. Rollable bid. Uh, Ryan Bryan gave us a bid. Uh, I know y'all take a take a look at it, but that's the only bid we have on now. Let's go over to uh, the crushed limestone base field. This is something that I will I know y'all had a chance to look at it. Had a chance to look at it. Uh, how's it? What are your thoughts on the limestone base field? No, we do the set them all so we can like set them all. Yeah, yeah. 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 all right. Then yeah. what's over in the panel? Set them all. And the next item is still colors. Okay, bridge lumber, we had no bids. So uh, it would be y'all's intention to have them to rebid uh, re it. Yeah. Let's, kind of, let's, let's go ahead and rebid that with the option. And uh, I believe the home company does a Jerry, did y'all contact them and ask them why they did not send a video? Okay. Chuck will read it. We mailed them a packet. Yeah. They, they received a packet and left it. They may have been working from home. Whoever normally does that. The uh, next time that we have a bid is going to be the least bid. Uh, we got so two bids from the Pikes Hotel and the Petroleum Traders. Pikes was like it's quite a bit cheaper, so uh, I don't know if we'll go through these in just a moment and uh, make a motion to hold them on. The unleaded, let's see how, how that lady really was. Same thing on that one, I believe. And then we also have a uh, no bid on the uh, contract calling. And uh, also on the sand, we uh, some questions about what our bid was and as far as being tons and not yards. So, what's the thought on that? Yeah, I like to know what he did. Oh, that good thing was just straight. That might not be light. So now then, let's do this. Let's go ahead then uh, and take action on each one of these if you don't mind. Uh, starting with the, uh, and we, we can do this relatively quick, I suspect. Uh, as far as the yearly bids on the uh, janitorial, we have a motion to accept. Both of them. So moved. So I have a motion and a second to accept both bids submitted by or the technical supply by the papers. Say aye. Uh, uh, as far as the man control, it's the only bid that came in. I was going to hand a motion to accept. So moved. Motion and a second for the man pest control. If you have a discussion, if not all say aye. Uh, uh, we'll do Brian and Brian, the bidder for the uh, uh, roll wall bid. Uh, this time, we need a motion. So, motion and second to approve Brian and Brian as the uh, awarding them the bid contract on the uh, road. We'll go over to the uh, fresh limestone base. Uh, put the motion on that base. So, all of the all of the river and frogs and the crows. We got Do y'all want to check all these? Yes. And is that the motion? Yes. We do have a motion by Commissioner Allen. Second. Second by Commissioner Ford. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, uh, as far as still uh, culprits bid, uh, the uh, Wilson uh, is the one we, I think we've been using forever. So 
Uh, it's the only bid. Would you all like to accept the bid? So moved. Yeah. Motion and second. We have discussion. I'll carry this out. Uh, uh, any approach? The bridge lumber, we are going to rebid. Let's talk about our gas then. The diesel bid. Uh, the, uh, I think the talk was is that five still sale was the best price. Uh, we have a motion to approve. Well moved. So, as far as diesel bid, I have a motion and a second to approve a five still sale. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Uh, uh, as far as just the unleaded bid, uh, I think we also look at bikes that have the best price for us. So, so uh, yeah, a motion and a second. If you're not any other discussion, then we'll uh, vote. All in favor say aye. Uh, uh, as far as the uh, contract calling, we didn't get that. We're going to rebid that. And uh, Sam, we're going to rebid that. Okay. Any other uh, action on that need? I think there is. So let's go ahead and move along. Tasha, you got your marching orders on that, don't you? I think so. Sure. All right, we've got a couple of the areas here. Uh, and it's going to be, not item 13 is approved and set bids for the Limestone County Judicial Center Cape Town. Uh, just like we got the, we only get the one, we only got one bid. Most of the part of Ranch LLC. Did it hear one of them met on the part? Tasha said it did. So, what do we have to part of Ranch? Being on the hospital county. Good motion. Second. Yeah, second. And discussion. All the pairs say aye. Uh, yeah. The uh, next item is going to be a uh, <coughs> excuse me, proven uh, set bid on Limestone County Parks 2 and 3 hay cutting. Uh, once again, it's like, uh, mostly part of Ranch LLC is the only bid that we got. Uh, it's for $200. If that satisfies the commission, then yeah, we need a motion. So we do have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Okay, let's move along then to item number 15, and that's going to be a discussion and take action on budget transfer number 466. Um, we've got about three uh, several things here that we're looking at. Number one is uh, in our contingency, $300,000. Uh, they're wanting to decrease uh, that contingency by 56000 and that money is to go in bridge material and shop uniform. So uh, that's a request being made by the Board of Bridge. So uh, okay. we do have a motion and a second to approve this uh, budget transfer number 466. Is there any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Uh, any other? Now it passed. Okay. We are going to take a, uh, about a oh, 25 minute recess. Uh, Y'all are welcome to. Come back if you'd like, but we need to. Have, we're going to have a public hearing at 10 o'clock. That's one thing we really have left on the end of the day. But we do need to have that at 10 o'clock. So we're going to take a about a 25 minute recess. I guess we could let it just move on through there.